Kakarot. You think you can beat Cell now? Sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hi everyone, wasting money here. Today we're going to be opening up the Sun Goku's Effect part set, the Teleport Kamehameha. Let's look at the box here. So it is a super beefy box. I mean, this is like the biggest one that I have so far, but you can see everything it comes with there on the back. I mean, the effect actually looks really good. So let's open this up and see all what's in there. We got the everything there labeled out. But yeah, let's open up this big boy. <laughs> let's see what we get here. I mean, I'm pretty excited. This is like my first official effects set. Um, I got the Hirachi Banmi dining set, but I mean, that's not really an effect piece in my mind. So let's just get all this out here. But yeah, let me get everything laid out here because there is a lot to unpack. There's like three different layers there, so. All right, so this is kind of what all it comes with here. So it has the aura effect and then a little piece that I guess you would just slap on there if you want to put it on the stand, which we have over here. I'll show how everything works and goes together later, just showing everything for now. And then this piece is kind of a standing piece if you want the aura just on the ground, not up in the air. We have a Kamehameha Blast effect, which is actually really cool looking. The only unfortunate thing is that it has Goku's hands on there. So, I mean, you could probably only use it with like a Gohan or Goku. Maybe uh, we can try it with Krillin as well. And then this is like a separate piece to where you can have like a smaller Kamehameha Blast. And then a little stand for that as well, which will go at the end in there. So... Um, it also comes with this Goku full power head, kind of like powering up. I believe you can change the face plates on that as well. So again, you know, we'll look at all this a little bit further, just see how to use that. And then it also comes with the stand that you can put, uh, you know, everything on. It comes with these little rocks, which really aren't that good at all um i mean this just looks like really cheaply built plastic so you know take that with what you will uh this was you know like 35 dollars usd i got this one off ebay as well uh you can also get it from big bad toy store at the moment too but let's just kind of get all this uh together and see how it works all right, so we'll just kind of start with the stand here to see how this all works. But essentially, this uh, lever, you can uh, tighten that, slide this up and down. Let's just kind of put it in here for now. So it looks like you can reach, get a bunch of different angles. Let's just try this angle starting out. And then, like I said, I mean, you can, if you want to make it like go further in and everything, you can adjust that there. So we'll just put it like straight up for now and then we can lock that into place. And then this little lever here can raise this up. So who needs instructions, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this one, you can just kind of push that in in order to get this to move. So this is where you'll put or like hang your figure from. So let's, and then these rocks just kind of go in wherever. I mean, like I said, it looks really cheap. It's nice to have a big stand though. So here's the aura here. If you want it kind of like looking like they're flying through the air, this bottom piece here, you just slide that in this way. So now it looks kind of like that. I think that's how it goes. Maybe not. Let's try, let's try the other side. <laughs> No, I guess that was correct. And then, uh, so this piece can come off. And be careful, because like some of the edges are a bit sharp. And I'm having a hard time actually getting this piece out. So, let's see. 
this end piece is not wanting to come off. There we go. <laughs> so that clips in there. And then you can basically clip this one with the hole. And then we'll put the bottom piece on to get a flying aura effect. And then you just stick this into the stand. There we go. So yeah, it just goes like that. And then the actual holder, uh, you know, the thing that will hold the figure goes in like so. I do have a Super Saiyan full power Goku here. So you can just kind of see, I mean, putting him in there, it holds him pretty well and it looks cool. So definitely good for any displays. We can try, now that we have this figure too, let's try on the kind of like effect piece head and see how that looks. So yeah, I mean, I will say <laughs> the, uh, it's supposed to be like kind of windblown hair, but it has just like a weird kind of weird design. I mean, I personally don't really like it, if I'm being honest. Uh, the scream face looks all right. I just really don't care for that hair at all. It, you know, it's kind of just like one, that one big piece there really doesn't look that good. So <laughs> we can kind of, you know, put him in like a powering up type pose here, like he's in the air, see how that looks. So yeah, I mean, it's really, it doesn't look the best, but I mean, still all right. <laughs> I, uh, I really do not like the uh, full power Super Saiyan Goku figure. So I got the Demoniacal Fit uh, 3.0 version uh, with the 2.0 neck peg converter. So yeah, I mean, now we got the Go Cell Goku in 3.0 body, you know, loads better than <laughs> this one for some reason. I mean, the quality control on this figure is just really abysmal. I don't know why they, uh, everything's just really loose on mine. And I have two of them too. And it wasn't just like one of them, like on the other one, the feet are really loose and the legs. This one seems to be like the arms are really loose. So <laughs> just kind of depends which figure you get. Uh, let's see. I want to take the uh, yelling faceplate off and then just put it on this one with the normal hair. See how that kind of looks. So yeah, I mean, that doesn't look bad too, honestly. So let's get his bangs on. Yeah, I mean, that actually looks pretty good. <laughs> So we got the screaming face on the normal, uh, you know, Super Saiyan full power head on the demoniacal fit body. So yeah, we can definitely get some cool poses with that. I think this looks, you know, a lot better, um, just kind of in the air and stuff that way. And then, so I took the aura piece off the stand there and then we have this piece. So it just slides in. I keep wanting to put it on backwards for some reason, but yeah, it just slides in like that. And it has a good, nice base on there. So it will actually stand flat. And then there you go. You can have one where they're actually, you know, standing up, which I really like that they did that with the feet. I mean, they haven't done that in previous aura effects or anything like that. So I actually really like this. And I've seen some people too, you can put like the, so then yeah, if you want an effect in the air as well, you just slap that on, put it on the stand back there. And then you could use this piece as just kind of like a stand in for like a small type or effect for say Krillin, for example, or you could do Gohan. So there's, and then you still have this full aura a set, set like for the air so really cool i do like how they kind of sculpted it and everything i mean it's pretty it, it looks just kind of straight out of the anime honestly and the <laughs> the ends are pointy so definitely watch out but now let's kind of look at the kamehameha blast effect so yeah for the kamehameha effect piece like i said i mean it has goku's hands at the end um, just looking at it, I believe the demoniacal fit hands are the same as well. So yeah, I mean, those fit in perfectly. Um, just be careful <laughs> because, you know, you want to make sure you have this 
on a stand and not just have all the weight uh, weighing down on the wrist peg here. Otherwise that may, may break. So we'll put this stand together. It comes with this little, you know, clear thing here. Just kind of stick the end there. And then there's a little hole on the Kamehameha piece. So it just goes in like that. And then you got a nice little stand to stand it up. So we'll get Goku's hands off. And then we'll kind of, let's see. Yeah, so, oh, actually, yeah, we'll go like this. We need to kind of twist. And there. And yeah, I mean, you're gonna have to play around with it just to get his hands in there properly. <laughs> Let's see. So you gotta get them pretty close together and then put in like so. But yeah, I mean, I can definitely see some people <laughs> breaking their figures if you're not careful with this. I mean, mine's not really wanting to stay in all the way either. Kind of got to get the arms better, but, you know, there you kind of get an idea for what it would be. I mean, it's a really long beam and also, you know, pretty sweet effect, too. Um, I will say, you know, kind of just get it in a pose how you like it. <laughs> but if you don't want the hands piece, it comes with this little separate slice here. So you just stick that into the end with the stand, of course. And let's see how it goes. Should go in like this. So yeah, just stick it in there. And then you'll have kind of like a lone blast type deal. So actually really cool, you know, if you want to use it with other figures like Vegeta and stuff. Since again, you know, on the longer piece, it is uh, Goku's hands there, which I do have a Krillin. So we'll just see, I believe his pegs yeah, Krillin's pegs are too small. I mean, if you maybe set him up right, <laughs> um, I mean, the hands look pretty big as compared to Krillin, so I don't know if that would work. But if you just kind of, like, set them on the hands, maybe, you know, you could get some sweet poses out of that. Um, it should work with, you know, like a 3.0 Gohan since the demoniacal fit pegs work fine. So, yeah, I mean, all in all, I really liked the effects. You can see the Goku back here that I have, kind of like like he's flying type thing. And then using that separate piece for the, you know, Super Saiyan Gohan, like I said. So all in all, I mean, for 35 bucks, it's a really good accessories effects set. Again, you know, not really sure why they have it the Kamehameha or the Teleport Kamehameha. But I, I mean, I, I definitely like it. I wish, you know, the headpiece was a bit better. Like I said, I just really don't like the look of that top portion. I mean, they've done way better, way <laughs> better windblown hair in the past. Sorry, I can't talk today, but yeah. So, I mean, that the head sculpt is a little disappointing. I mean, it is a whole new head sculpt. So, you know, I can have the full power uh, Super Saiyan head on a demoniacal fit like the normal one and then if you want to put this head on your like you know Super Saiyan full power body you can certainly do that and separate heads are always good when they don't just come with a faceplate I mean so this is the faceplate that the effects set came with and it actually looks really good here's it compared to the Super Saiyan full power kind of growling <laughs> Or yelling face. I mean, it looks it looks really good. The faceplate doesn't look too bad. So, really like this set. I'm probably gonna rank it. Uh, let's just do like a, I'll say a nine. I mean, for the price and everything you get for it, you really can't go wrong. I mean, that dining Hirachi Bami set was about the same price, and you get a lot of stuff with that. But this is actually a really cool effect. I love the aura, just how that looks. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this. Will you be picking it up? Like I said, it's out in the U.S. at Big Bad Toy Store now for that 35 USD price point. So go pick one up if you like this review. As the channel progresses and everything, I kind of wanted to change up how I did the shout outs. Instead of, you know, everyone just kind of asking <laughs> for a shout out 
and doing like eight of those. I wanted to change it up a bit and now I'll be looking in the comments, you know, every time I do respond to every comment, like I said, uh, but if you do just kind of ask for a shout out, you know, there's not much to kind of respond back to <laughs> with that. So I want to do the shout outs as more of like a question uh, to the audience in the comments. So at the end of each video, I'll choose a question, you know, from the comments of the previous video that I thought, you know, was really engaging. And, you know, I'd like to know y'all's answers. So <laughs> comment below, you know, a sweet question, either, you know, pertaining to this review or just Dragon Ball in general, kind of like, you know, a cool question. So, <laughs> and we'll just kind of do them like that from now on. And I'll just choose one at the end of the videos, like I mentioned. And then that video, y'all can, you know, kind of answer somewhat in the comments and we can, you know, just do it like that. But Again, I'll see you next time and stay tuned for next week. We're going to be doing the full collection review of kind of what you see behind me. I'm going to be ranking, uh, doing a tier list actually of every figure that I own. So it should be a really long and engaging video. So stay tuned for that and I'll see everyone there. Peace.